Hey, what's up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today I wanted to do a very chill and laid back video all about analyzing these five different lenses. They are all about 50, 50 ish millimeters, <laughs> and you'll see why. And just kind of talk about what I found putting them all head to head in, in this test and what I found interesting uh, and maybe why I have a favorite. Uh, and hopefully it shows you what these lenses look like. So I want to do first just kind of take a look and, and look at all these. So I have these labeled so you can't tell which one's which. Uh, and that way later you can kind of decide for yourself. So there's A and this is lens B. And again, I'd, I'd love to know what you think in the comments or which one you preferred, especially without knowing. Uh, lens C, and then and you already saw this in the beginning, lens D, and then finally, lens E. So this is not super scientific. Um, I did not like light this with some lighting setup. This is literally just a uh, shade right off camera uh, or, a, you know, like a window with a, a blind on it. And um, yeah, so... A couple of things jumped out to me, and I'll kind of pull up this full screen of all of them here. There were some really interesting things that I sort of learned while looking at these lenses. And really what struck me was actually how similar they are. So there is there is some usability things I'll talk about once I t explain which lens is which. Um, but these are slightly uh, like e exposure balanced. Uh, there's no color correction or anything changing on them. The only thing I did was just change the exposure to get them as close as I could um, because there was some small differences and there was one in particular that was way off and I'll talk about that later. Um, but yeah, so uh, lens A I found to be probably one of the more pleasing um, and possibly my favorite. Uh, it, it, there's something where it's just, it's very, there's some great depth of field. There's really great bokeh in the background. It's super smooth and it's really nice and creamy, but there's also some real sharpness. Um, and I felt like it was the perfect balance between great bokeh and, and great sharpness. Um, where camera B skewed a little more pink like actually very pink and i think the bokeh wasn't as great although i think it's very sharp um so i think it's a good lens but i think it skewed so pink for me uh, and maybe it's hard to tell here on the monitor but uh it didn't look as natural or neutral as camera a did which i think camera a was probably the most neutral of the bunch and b definitely skewed very very pink C, I really like the look of the skin, and I think the bokeh is nice and creamy. It's not as sharp as the other two, and I don't think it's maybe as contrasty either. Um, but I do think it's a really nice look, and and I think C is it's not my second favorite, uh, but it it's very good. Um, D is probably my least favorite. Uh, it it was the one that needed the exposure, like probably almost a stop or more, um, and it's. It's just, to me, not the most pleasing. I think the skin tones are really natural and nice, which I think is cool. Um, but, uh, you know, I think some of the color aspects are nice. But I think as a whole, it was the... Uh, it also had a massive um, field of view problem, which I'll talk about later once I describe what it is. Because this was an exact 50, and I'm not sure why it didn't match the field of view compared to the others. Um, and then E is probably my second favorite. Now, although the bokeh isn't as creamy as some of the others it'll make more sense why uh, but i just love the look i think it's the skin is nice and neutral um, it's not as neutral as a as camera a is but it's definitely got a nice realistic look to it it's nice and sharp but not too sharp um, and I think that there's just something very pleasing about it, which I think will make some more sense later. Um, I think it's also the way it shows my face, uh, I think looks a little bit more natural and true to life. Um, so I like that as well. Um, so these were all shot in the red Komodo. They were all shot in 6k. They were all shot with the speed booster. So, uh, they're all at two eight, but they're getting a little bit more. Uh, one of them is as close to 2.8 as I could get it, um, and I'll describe why that is. Um, and yeah, so I'm curious what you guys think. Which Do, do you think you know what these lenses could be? Um, you've probably seen the lenses on the thumbnail, uh, but I'm curious as to what you think they might be or which one's which, because I was kind of surprised at what I liked and thought was better than, than what I expected. Um, so the reveal <laughs> is that uh, 
Lens A is the Mikey full frame 50 millimeter cinema lens. Um, so that was the one I got somewhat recently and I really like it. I think it just looks very neutral, very sharp, very creamy bokeh. It's, it's probably, like I said, the best overall image. Um, B is the Sigma 50 millimeter art lens. This is the one I was kind of surprised on. I It's funny, when I was shooting on the GH5 for years, I always thought the skin tone skewed really pink. Um, and I actually think now, while looking at this, that it's, I think it's the, the Sigma. There's a lot of pinks and reds in my skin that aren't there on some of the others, or at least not as apparent. Um, and I think my skin just looks very, very pink. Um, it's nice and sharp, but the bokeh is just not as good as the Mikey or some of the other ones as well. And C is actually the Helios uh, 44 to 2, which I believe is a 58 millimeter. This was a little bit tricky. I really do love this image, but the, the tricky part is the the f-stop ring is not correct. It's not on there correct, so I kind of have to eyeball it. So I sort of eyeballed it um, to what about was 2.8, and I think the bokeh is really nice. It, it's a lot sharper at 2.8 because if you open it up to 1.7, it just kind of looks gross and disgusting. Um, but this thing at 2.8 looks really, really nice. So I was like very impressed with this. I think it probably has the best skin tone. Um, maybe not the most accurate, but the best looking. It's it's creamy, it's a little bit warm, it's not super neutral, but I think that that looks a little more pleasing to me. Um, yeah, great lens. Um, and, and the field of view wasn't really that different from the others. Uh, D, which was my least favorite, is actually the Canon FD 50 millimeter. This was really weird to me because I thought I was going to like this lens a lot. And first off, the field of view was completely off. Now, I have an adapter and I don't think it's doing anything. So I'm not really sure why the field of view was totally off. And this was about a stop and a half uh, underexposed. So don't really know what was going on there. I'm not really sure why. Maybe someone in the comments is smarter than me and can tell me. But I was kind of disappointed because actually recently what sort of made me do this test is I was thinking I was like oh maybe I'll fill out my Canon FD line and make like a nice set of vintage lenses that I can run around and use uh, but to be honest after this test I'm like boy I, I don't really like this lens that much it's it's not bad it's decently sharp I think it has pretty good warm skin tones um, I think the bokeh is fine I just think it's not as good. I mean, you can see there's a lot of chromatic aberration on the door in the back, like actually a lot compared to the other lenses where um, you, that you really just don't get that. So it's, it's just kind of a messy lens that I don't think the upsides really solve. Um, and, and again, it's, it's, it's almost closer to like an 85. I don't know why that is, but just... I guess I guess it is, <laughs> and then E, which is my second favorite, is the Blazar Remus uh, 45 millimeter anamorphic, um, which, you know, it's why I think I like it a bit. Not because I I knew, but just something about the field of view. You obviously lose a bit of the bokeh, and and I thought about testing the 65 out on this, but I thought the 65 is. That's pretty far from a 50 millimeter where, you know, the 45 is obviously very, very close. So although you don't get the bokeh, there's just something so pleasing about this image. I think it looks very natural, very real. You know, all of the other ones look portrait, right? They look like they're a portrait lens where the anamorphic, of course, you know, it has the 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 bit of barrel distortion. It just looks a little more natural and realistic. My face looks a little more like it like it does, um, where the other ones kind of compress my face a bit. Uh, so I think that it's just, I don't know, something about it is just really, really nice and I like it. Obviously, there's some downsides to the anamorphics, like the close focus is not so great, so you have to use diopters, things like that. Um, and of course, none of these had ND. These are all just right at 2.8. Um, but yeah, so I was really surprised when doing this test at... A, how much I really liked the Mikey lens, and I think it's probably the most neutral, like overall good looking image. And I've shot with this obviously a ton, and, and I love the image it, it, it makes. I just didn't, you know, I never put them head to head, and I thought it was interesting. And I think what was the most interesting to me is how much I didn't really care for the Sigma and the FD. Uh, the Sigma's great, like, don't get me wrong. I just think that I always thought the Sigma lenses were like these ultra sharp, really great, you know, clean looking lenses. And, and after this test, I, I don't think they are. 
I think they're sharp. Um, I, I think they're probably the sharpest of the bunch, but I, I don't know. I mean, you know, there's always a little bit of the focus could be a hair off, so I don't want to totally give them the win on that. But they skew very, very pink, and you know, obviously they're they're not cinema lenses. They're they're not as easy to use. You have to use the digital apertures. You have to change the camera. You have to have like some type of camera control. Um, you know, you can't manually change it. And and D the FD lenses, I really was just super annoyed with how kind of terrible the whole usability was. Right, the, like the field of view was completely off. The it was super underexposed, and I just don't really care for the image as much. So. I'll keep using the FD lenses with my film camera, uh, you know, just for for taking film shots. But to be honest, I just I'm I'm not as happy with them, and I and honestly might end up selling them um, if I don't because I have a few of those, and and I don't think I need all of them for the film camera. But yeah, this was just a really fun and interesting test for me, and I'm just I'm really intrigued to be able to now know this. And and to be completely honest, they're all very close. I think with the exclusion. Of the Canon FD lenses, you could probably color match and sharpen or the rest of them to be almost identical. And I don't think you'd really notice much other than the bokeh and like field of view. So I also think that was an interesting insight is that maybe it doesn't matter a ton, but just knowing what does what better. Um, you know, and, and this has sort of been my workflow, but really the Mikeys are to me like the commercial lenses. If I'm shooting commercials and I and I need you know, 16 by nine or vertical video. And I know I want to do something very standard, straightforward. The Mikey's are the way to go. Um, they look nice. They have some great character. And then obviously the Blizzard uh, Remus kit has been really nice for, I want to go a little wild. I want to go a little weird. I want them to get a little bit dirty. Um, and at two eight, they are rock solid. The 100 millimeter definitely is a little bit worse um, than the 45 and the 65. So you got to keep that in mind, but they just came out with the 85. So if the 85 is great, maybe that'll kind of, you know, be the the nice three kit. Although I'd love to see a 135 and I'd love to see like a 32 or something. I know they have a 32, but it's only super 35. So but yeah, this was just a fun, laid back, interesting test. Uh, honestly, for me, it was a great learning experience, but I'd love to know what you guys think. Um, if there's any that you prefer, if you, if you don't agree with me, I'd, I'd love to know. So uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.